Hi, Year 11. Today we're going to talk about the ghost of Christmas present who arrives in stave three of A Christmas Carol. The stave begins again on Christmas Eve and the ghost of Christmas present arrives in Scrooge's bedroom shortly after Christmas past has left. This ghost has a number of purposes and represents what Christmas is all about. Family, friends and giving. The ghost is described as a jolly giant and on his appearance is surrounded by fine food and drink. He is dressed in simple green robes bordered with white fur. It can be argued here that Dickens has created a character that's similar to the original traditional Victorian for Father Christmas. The ghost tells Scrooge he has more than 18,000 brothers, suggesting he's a reflection of how the world should be full of brotherhood. Scrooge immediately did as he was told with this ghost and the ghost takes him on a journey through London. The description of London on Christmas Day is vivid and happy. Citizens are hurrying by but are also happy and the ghost sprinkles incense over them and their Christmas dinners, particularly those of the poor. The ghost reminds Scrooge that these people deserve happiness and a rest, something that Scrooge would happily take away, particularly on a Sunday. The ghost then takes Scrooge to the Cratchit's house. All of the Cratchits are excited for their upcoming dinner, the return of Martha and the prospect of a lovely, family orientated Christmas. Mrs Cratchit is described as wearing a twice-turned gown that she has decorated with ribbons which are cheap. Bob then returns with Tiny Tim and it's apparent that Tim is suffering and although physically ill and disabled, he is as good as gold and Bob describes him as growing strong and hearty. He is, however, described as needing a crutch. The Cratchit's dinner is full of happiness and laughter and they are all grateful for the small amount they have, reminding Scrooge of the small amount he pays. The ghost proceeds to show Scrooge a vacant seat. He tells Scrooge that if these shadows remain unaltered by the future, none other of my race will find him here. Highlight him to Scrooge that Tim will die. They continue to move around the country to see other celebrations, including Fred's. The ghost shows Scrooge here how others view him and mock him, not being able to understand his behaviour. When they return, the ghost opens his robe to reveal two children beneath it, ignorance and want. The children are a reflection of Victorian England, and more so the middle and upper classes. They act as a warning of how dangerous poverty and the world will be. They highlight the harsh realities of Victorian life, and thus Dickens' criticism of the world he lives in.